want to be involved in health law, this is the place for you to be. Well, you know, there are always disruptions in health law. Uh, change is the name of the game. Embrace the changes that are coming, be part of it. Excellence in healthcare requires excellence in health law. In 2030, the, the volume will be turned up on that even more than it is now. And the volume's turned up on it now much more than it was just five years ago. Keeping up with increased consolidation, competition, disruptive trends and technologies takes focus and leadership. We are paying attention to the drivers and the disruptors in the health law and the healthcare industry. AHLA helps gather, digest, and disseminate accurate, vital information surrounding the many disruptors, among them the technology and data that's transforming the health law practice. It's a little bit of an arms race. We've got more tools available to us now than we've ever had. All signs point to continued disruption. Data is driving innovation, and information technology laws and regulations are changing in an effort to keep up. Talk about 2030 and beyond, many of these vendors in the telemedicine space have achieved their five-year plan in the last six months. Sometimes you have to say, this is very risky. Expanding hospital systems need larger legal teams, and it's disrupting the legal framework. In-house counsel are getting more and more sophisticated. So outside counsel have a little bit different role. It's a little more specialized. The degree of specialization is astonishing. A result of the broadening of health law and the need for highly specialized teams that can react quickly and identify industry trends. The trends do come quickly and there are usually multiple trends per year. It's, um, it's an impressive force. Shaping the way care is delivered, driving reimbursement models, increasing the pressure on providers and the firms helping solve problems. Agility and speed are important because your client's always going to be you know, calling you up with, with new issues. The role of the health law professional is really to keep the healthcare industry moving, moving forward, it's able to deliver the services that it needs to deliver. In a dramatically shifting and demanding health environment, an interdisciplinary practice is crucial for the future. Every Every day there's a new rule or there's a rollback of a rule and you have to pull from experience to try to guess what, what could be the consequences. Talk about disruption. <laughs> this disruption isn't just health care. This disruption is all of it. And that includes health law education. This is more than just law. This is, this is affecting a person on a day-to-day -day basis. Programs are combining practical and theoretical knowledge, and more importantly, breaking down barriers and expanding the diversity of the future workforce. I think diversity um, in, in experience is going to allow for um, innovation. Critically needed steps to remove inequalities in health. Health law, we do not move forward unless we've got all players on board. Universities are connecting with the community, collaborating to try and solve long-standing problems. So I teach my students about how law can lead to poor health outcomes. Driving home the real impact of law while in class, taking the interdisciplinary educational approach to the next level. I think what we really want is what's called a transdisciplinary perspective not just two disciplines maybe talking to each other, but learning how to work together and inform each other. Professors are energized by actively preparing the future health lawyers, making sure they're ready to hit the ground running after graduation. And one of the really good things about the new generation coming through law school now, the younger law students, is that they are frightened of nothing. I always tell students, uh, you know, if you want an exciting, dynamic career, uh, doing something that really helps people, real people's lives, then health law is the field for you. We felt the frustration of healthcare attorneys palpably. Tech companies are stepping in too, helping to navigate the web of compliance challenges. It was uh, mind numbing and um, time consuming and an inaccurate science and it seemed to me there needed to be a better way. Innovative thinking to develop digital tools to enhance the performance of legal and compliance teams. Being able to connect makes it more um, humanistic. It takes the complication out of it, and we can talk about what matters most, which is delivering patient care. And AHLA is at the center of all the disruption and innovation. All it means is that 
It's just a new way of doing things. Connecting and educating the health law community. Healthcare is dynamic and changing, and if you don't change with it, you will be left behind. Stay connected and engaged. Watch the full program online.